the winter weather approaches, county leaders around the region are preparing for a rise in 911 calls and emergencies. Many areas of the country already seeing the effects from the Arctic blast that's taking over the nation. Reporter Aaron Velasquez joins us now to share more from one country e county EMA director on how to prepare for the potential snow. I spoke with Anderson County EMA Director Bryce Kidwell. He shared that they are keeping a close eye on the weather ahead and that the situation has been fluctuating since Thursday. At first, they expected to deal with the low temperatures. However, now they are also prepared for the potential for snow. One of their biggest concerns is the ability to keep their roads clear for the public and for any emergency vehicles that might need to use them. One of the main things that uh, our county department and state uh, department worry about is getting our emergency services to calls that are needed 911 emergencies. Uh, so keeping those roads as treated as possible as clear as possible will aid in that keep the emergency responders safe trying to get to people who are in, having emergencies. Emergencies that can be a consequence of unsafe road conditions and power outages. Having an emergency kit of some sort prepared uh, with food and water, um, a flashlight, a weather radio, things, make sure your phone's fully charged. And if power outages become a problem and you're going to run a generator, make sure the generator's outside, stored with the fuel outside, so that doesn't become a hazard and have carbon monoxide detectors in your residence. He adds that if you do have to drive, to be cautious of crews who might be working on the roads like the ones you see now. AAA says that you must also always drive at a safe speed and leave braking room for the car in front of you. If you get stuck in snow or ice, make sure to straighten the wheel and go slow. You could add sand or cat litter under the wheels to avoid spinning and when in doubt, slow it down. Back to you.